uh, I just happened on this statistic uh, last night as I was looking at some things for the show. Do, do you know that as of just in January, so as of what, nine months ago, 110,000 restaurants had closed? 110,000 yeah, permanently a, gone. Third worldification underway. That's just amazing. I don't know how many have come back. You know, as no, they were gone permanently. No, permanently. Not, okay. That's just the ones that have just closed up shop and said, we're not coming back. Like, as that restaurant. Yeah. No, I understand. Yeah. I'm with you. But, I mean, you know, Bill closed down his restaurant. He may have opened it up again so, under a different right. name. Right. Th- those are the ones I'm not talking about right now. See, there's two I'm talking about two things. permanent, not I closed it and now I'm coming back. That, does, that goes against the definition of permanent. <laughs> yeah, what, 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 so what is the definition of permanent? It's uh, Like for all time. Yeah, it's lasting <laughs> or intended to last or remain unchanged indefinitely. Right. That okay. doesn't mean Bill closed his restaurant for a little while and now he's coming back. Yeah. <laughs> and the restaurants that are back <laughs> have limited staff because people right. in many states yeah. are staying home, still collecting unemployment paychecks instead in, of going to work. In some cases, uh, they want to come back. They could come back, but they don't have the employees to do that. Yeah, like yeah. last night I was driving through an Arby's, for example, and on the sign, just uh, <laughs> it's a little paper sign that says, yeah, we closed at 7 o'clock now. We're, our hours are now 11 to 7, and it was 7.02 p.m., and they're gone. And I, I drove around to the window and I sweet talked him into, you know, giving me some sandwiches. Oh. But for the most part, I mean, this is a weird. Uh, uh, Chick fil A has their drive through shut down in some locations until lunchtime. Yeah. And they don't have their dining room open, not because of COVID necessarily, but it's because they don't have the staff numbers yes. to uh, allow people to come in and sit down and eat. Yeah, it's... it's amazing. I, I was watching this documentary on uh, Wolfgang Puck. You know, world-renowned mm-hmm. chef Wolf Game Pop. Really, it's pretty interesting. Hmm. And I remembered about the restaurant that he has here in Dallas, and I thought, man, that's a good restaurant. And it's up in the uh, Reunion Tower. Yeah. In the top of that, and I can't remember if it rotates or not, but it's got this great view of Dallas. It's just, it's really, it's like the restaurant at the top of the Space Needle. Mm-hmm. Reunion Tower is very sim- similar to that. Uh, so I, I went to make reservations. Um, cause my wife just had a birthday and it'd be fun to oh, happy you know, birthday, Jack. do another little celebration. Yeah. With her. And Aww. so I look it up permanently closed. No, permanently. The, yeah. Wolfgang pucks, five sixty restaurant in Dallas, permanently closed due to COVID-19. Third they come back though. Location. No, the <laughs> definition of permanent, they come back. Jeffy, <laughs> is they don't. Come back! What was your SAT grade, by the way? <laughs> Two. Two. 18. Two. You couldn't even get to 18. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, I mean, this is this is our quality of life yeah. being taken from us. It's just that everything has changed now. Multiple reasons and justifications. Mm-hmm. And it's depressing as hell, the, the world we're handing off to our kids. It's it's literally it a third worldification in slow motion, or in some cases, fast motion. And it's not just, I know we're going to go down some more numbers of the restaurants, but I mean, staffing is a big issue for everywhere. everybody. Yeah, not just restaurants. I mean, I read everybody. where FedEx says it's rerouting more than 600,000 packages a day because it can't find enough staff to process them. Oh, my gosh. I mean, well, you look what's going on in, in the port of Los Angeles. Where yeah, they've got, right. Was it 90 ships that are backed just up? Collecting dust. Now, they used to say that. It's bad if we have one ship backed up. <clears throat> They've got ninety, yeah, and that's—I mean—that's—that's that, that's at ports all over. Yeah, that's not just people that. don't want to show up at these jobs because They're in states like money. California, the checks are still coming in. Yeah, it's madness. Yeah, it's that's got to stop to allow us to get back to the flow of this. You know, th- there are ten or eleven. I think it's eleven million jobs now. That can't be filled. That haven't been filled. Haven't been. I mean, they yeah. want them filled. They're available to be filled, but they aren't because there's not enough willing people. I mean, and that's here in the U.S. I mean, the United Kingdom. Boris Johnson just said, "Yeah, we, you might as well start planning on shortages for Christmas and stuff because we the mm-hmm. gas prices are high, but we can't find truck drivers to deliver the stuff." Jeez. So, not good. Get ready for it. We're gonna, you know. We're going to go through things that we've never gone through here in this country. 
Yep. Seriously. And Costco is back to limiting uh, purchases. Is that here too, or toilet is that paper? UK? Uh, oh, that's a good question. I don't know, Jeffy. I just saw the headline and yeah, they were mentioning it. toilet paper again. Yeah, like yeah. limiting but it that, to one I, proposed. Uh, but I thought that was. In I'm the checking UK. right now. So what does that mean? That means people think, oh my gosh, I got to go hoard it now. Yep. yep. <laughs> so it um, creates even more of a shortage. Yeah. So to answer your question, this is the United States, and mm. yeah, let's see here. Hang on, and it's uh. Paper product limits, um, toilet paper, cleaning supplies, and more. I don't know. So that's Clorox again, right? Probably. <clears throat> I've become addicted to Clorox wipes. Bottled, <laughs> bottled water is on that list. I love bottled water. I can't mm-hmm. live without bottled water or Clorox wipes the thing is, in my fact, life. It's you, impossible. You, you can't live. I can't. You, you can't. No, Jeff, you don't you understand. Can. I can't.